Hey guys, today I'm going to be recording a video about all my Minecraft worlds. So yeah, let's get started. Well, I'm not going to be showing you all of them, all of them, but I'm going to be starting with all of Minecraft mo mobs, worlds. But there's one or two here that aren't in there. Well, I already have one of them that I said I didn't have, and that's the one that's added. So I pretty much don't need mods, like yes. The glare is a mod. There's two different types of glares. This other glare is a mod. This llama isn't a mod. It's a part of a mod that barely any people know about. Oh gosh, these poor little things. This alley isn't a mod. This moo bloom is a mod. Um, this sniffer is a mod, even if it's been added. And that's that rascal that just disappeared. These rascals are different than the ones I was trying to show you. Well, the ones I showed you when I was fighting all mobs. And these ice oligers, they're probably part of the same mod, but there's but they're different. This place is from the hovering inferno. And also known as a wildfire. This hovering inferno is different than this hovering inferno. One of them is very good. It came from different mods. These tough golems, I should probably give them an item to for them to wake up. They already are awake. <gasps> One has a barnacle tooth. How? Well, so, yeah, um, let me check if anything else. I'm gonna check my inventory. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these barnacles, I think, I already told you that are mods. I already have several glares in here. This copper golem is a mod? Uh, oh, it's oxidizing. Yeah, I got a lot of them, bro. Well, people. A game zagging because of how many things are in the game. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do something. Well, yeah, guys, I'm back. Well, I've been just um ending some glares because um there were so many of them. Well, yeah, there here I still have some glares. Here's a glare, but you're saying, well, there's only one of uh, on type. Well, you guys couldn't see. There was another one over here. But I said glares, so then I said, uh, so there's another one over here, and some over here, like one right here, and one right here. Um, one right here. This thing is just all over the place. I don't want to know why my game is doing really slow. Well, yeah. I want to keep going. So, yeah, these are the mobs. So yeah, and the mobs that I didn't show you about was the phantom. Not dolphins. And but you like wait, but didn't you say two? I did say two. So then when I met two, the other one with the llama. Yes, llama was in the mob vote. The first very mob vote. And guess what it fought against that I don't have here? The Apalka. Alpalka. They're pretty much like the same thing. I've never seen any of them in real life. But if I would, I probably wouldn't understand. Well, yeah, and here we have the other copper golem. Where's the other ugly copper golem that I didn't like? Did I end that one's life too? Yeah, I got. I didn't. I swear. I only ended some glares lives. And there's the phantom. And that copper golem. Copper. Well, yeah, that copper golem was pretty much unknowledgeable. <gasps> A tough golem. We have to save it. It can't drown, but can we put a lead on it? No, we can't. Well, somehow try to know how to use a lead. I mean, top goal. I'm sorry, I can't help. Well, yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. JK, I just have to, have to show you my other one. Well, here is another one which I call Golems. I promise you guys, it's less laggy, even if it also has a lot of mobs. 
probably even more. Well, before the video, I played with this one a little bit to see if I could add another golem who's an Asian golem, which I couldn't add. It, so yeah, the rough golem. He, well, here's an iron golem. Here's a guard golem. Here's more iron golems. I added some alleys because they're, because that why not? And here's a moss golem. The tough golem, which I showed you on my other thing. The rough golem. This is the rough golem. There's still some more. Like the copper golems down here. And yeah, that's pretty much all the golems. Except for the where are they? No, don't tell me they uh, they die through mobs through the night. Well, I'm gonna get some shears, guys. Why? Because of the snow golems. One, two, three, four. One. You either notice that this uh, yeah you can take the thing off. Two. Uh, wait, wait for you, wait for me. Three. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, guys, don't look. Hmm. <laughs> Well, yeah, here are all the golems. Let me see if you guys didn't get to see any. You got to see the rough golem. You got to see the tough golem. You got to see the iron golem. You got to see the snow golem. You got to see the moss golem. You got to see the, the guard golem, which I call it. And you got to see the copper golem. Yeah, you're pretty much all the golems. Well, yeah, my skin is a copper golem. I love golems. That's why I made this world. I've been looking for like another golem to add like the agent golem and the build break or block golem because like they were like in the thing. So yeah, let me switch to my next world. So it's next world, yeah, I pretty much like like to put them in the coastal village. It's not about golems, even if it has one because it's naturally spawn there. But here's a beekeeper. It's a mod. What? Uh, yeah, I think the texture pack broke. Yeah, here's more bees. I added some things. I added these for the bees to collect nectar from. But you might see be seeing this. Well, look up. Yeah, this is a spawn bee. This is a spawn beekeeper trader. And you're and this is the bee nest. And this is the beehive. This is the oxidant ox I. Daisy and this is a sunflower. You might be wondering, hey, what's that other spawn egg? The brownish yellowish spawn egg. Well, this is a queen bee. Hmm. This is about bees. This world. I don't know why I, why I make so many worlds. I have about 20 worlds. Hopefully, I'll be able to see, show you all of those. This next one is about people like you make. All right, but this next one is about how to survive zombies. This is how I survive zombies in this world. I pretty much still be on creative on this world. I didn't make this legit. I'm on creative. I build this on creative. Although these are some inspiring ideas for you to like. Yeah, I was ending some piglins here last last time I played on this. But so my thing was. My sister was also build, trying to build her security thing. I I was finding some iron golems. That was because that was a part of my security. So then they could wipe out any zombies. This is for zombies, not for other mobs. But here at the church, this is where the security comes in. So first, to, in order to get across, you're going to have to do this parkour. It's not that hard. It's not that easy. So then once it got past that, also, if the zombies you tra somehow try to make it across these, the snow golems, they will shoot them down. And you say, but what about the rain? It's going to kill them because water does kill them. But I got the little block to protect them. This isn't, this isn't skeleton proof. Even if, because the snow golems cannot kill skeletons. Why? Because they have a little bit of help and they don't do any damage. So that that's why this one is empty. Even if I put some snow golems, I 
I have to take one down. Well, yeah. And then if the zombies get across the snow golem somehow and and yeah, skeletons shoot them, they would have to get through these cobwebs. Well, my security was at those golems trying to take them down. And if that doesn't work, well, this is also trying to be like player proof, so then they could blind them so you won't know where you step. And these, these are fire charges. They send up fireballs. And then if like, they gotta get across that. They have to get across cactus. They can't grow any bigger because they string I put on top of them. And here, what's under here? Glad you asked. Here are puffer fish so they could poison the zombies. So then they will be poisoned. And since the zombies think this is a full block, whoop, try, try to walk towards it and then they fall into the lava. And this is my cat to spend the white creepers for me. <laughs> And I have the beautiful flowers, new flowers as well. And these are guard dogs. Oh yeah, by the way, I'll be shooting with dispensers over here. And here is full netherite armor. So yeah. So then when if they try to come, I'll take them on. So that would be my last security mechanism, me. But to protect myself even more, I'm gonna just go down at his farm. But but you're like. Is that a bunker or not? Yes, it's a bunker. You can't break down iron doors. I just so you have to press a button. Is that, yes, it's a bunker, but you'll be like, wait, but what about all the crops? Don't worry about that. I got some over here. Here and there. I'm gonna build this for if it's someone's birthday. Every day is someone's birthday. And here's some chickens and pigs and sheep and cows. This is the only barn I have. Well, yeah, this is spectator mode. I like this better in spectator. Well, yeah, that's my, the end of this world. And this one, next one, I'm going to try to let you guess. It wasn't really good in getting out well because there was no fancy things. I'll try to put, like, some fancy things, like, along the way you're doing it. Well, well, I was trying to get you entertained while you were writing on it. I need to get you guys know what that was course no the mine cart let me go show you a thing about the mine cart what i was doing so here i was trying to make you take like a like a whoa 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 like that type of path like the last second things so you go here and then you go forward and then you try to like whoa, whoa. and you see steve fighting a zombie and they're uh, an iron golem to a villager those are the only two things that keep you entertained this whole entire thing. Well, yeah, and there it ends. I'm not done with it. Nowhere near, actually. What? Well, from there all the way to the other side of this island, that's where I'll be done. What is this? All right, but whatever. So, yeah, that's the end of this world. And guys, I don't even know if I if I'll ought to be able to to show you around this whole entire thing. Yes, I have a vegan world, and it got extra lot. It's like there's a lot of things. Ants, I like ants. I'll show you the survive zombie survive the copy of zombie survival. I don't really need it because like I did it just in case if I accidentally deleted my zombie survival, so then I recopied it. If I accidentally delete my zombie survival. So then I won't have to start my progress all over because I did de deleted zombie survival before. So I had to rebuild it all. And this time it's even better, I say. Well, this. This was an ant. Well, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal all my ants. Uh -huh. Here, I have the ant mod. I have several mods, okay? Well, yeah, these things. These things are pretty entertaining, I say. So the ant spawn egg is in my inventory. This. They're called giant ants. The only ones that you could ride are the ones with, like, the green things, like, on the back. Like these. Like these right here. Green things. Doesn't matter if they're white or black. Sorry, guys, if I'm, if I'm being racist here. Well, I'm trying not to. I'm trying to keep these, like... More of this video entertaining and be appropriate for p kids to watch. But, yeah, but these ants, no. 
Do you see ants have a lot of health? Shall I add? Like, this is a netherite sword, the strongest sword in the game if you don't include their enchantments. And how many hits does it take to kill an ant? Here? Uh, but like, I estimated it about like 12 hits. See? Well, yeah, I'm gonna heal all my ants here. Because I accidentally hit one twice with another right sword before. So, yeah, that's the end of this world. And that was an accident. I didn't know how to heal, so I tried feeding it so I could heal, but it didn't work. So then, what I did, just throw an instant health splash potions. I thought that was actually the end. So, yeah, guys, that's the end of this video.